that's the worst thing a person can say. But hear me out. I know your partner just broke up with you and maybe you lost your job and maybe you're late on some of your bills but please this is not the solution let me tell you a story I too was suicidal at one point. I tried killing myself in high school. I used to cut myself because I felt it was the only way to relieve the pain. I was depressed every single day. For three out of the four years of high school, I was depressed and suicidal. I had to be placed in a mental hospital several times. I missed so much school and my grades suffered. I felt like a burden to everybody, my parents, my friends, and even the people I used to go to church with back when I did. I told myself I was just a bug. You know how sometimes when you're out and about walking and you accidentally step on a bee or a roly-poly. While that one bug isn't going to put an end to an entire species. There's a million bugs to replace that one. And what's one bug, meaning me, gone? There's over 8 billion people in the world and the population is growing. And one person isn't going to be the end of anyone's world. I took up drinking, and I hit it pretty well, anything to numb the pain, anything, anything, anything to numb the pain, I did it, it was like a gift I cherished, oh, and the mental hospitals didn't do a damn thing, I only lied to get out because I didn't want to repeat any years of high school. Plus, I was ready to bash in Skolzen because the people in those hospitals kept messing with me. I nearly smashed a plastic tray over a, I think he was 13 or 14 year old's head because he thought just because he was younger he could get away with anything. I had people tell me they loved me just to fuck me over. I had girlfriends leave me for the guys who were just a friend. He's just a friend. Oh, don't worry. He's just a friend. He's just a friend. <laughs> for all I know, they were cheating on me behind my back. I lost a lot of friends. Most of them are nothing but memories now. But here's a kicker. Even though I probably did and do have every reason to kill myself, I'm still here. And maybe this is part of my purpose for being here. Maybe I might not have value as an individual, but maybe I'm here to stop you because maybe it's your turn to save somebody important for the future. Or maybe I'm here to stop you 
because you're going to be the person who finds the cure for cancer or maybe the creator of something life-changing or the inventor of something life-changing. You just have to push through this. Don't you have a friend who may need your help? I mean, don't you remember having that one friend who you stayed up all night talking to just to calm them down? I'm pretty sure you still have one of those, right? What if you are their only friend that they can confide in when they're going through a dark time and you're not there to save them? Would you want them to end their life? Think about that for a second. Do you never want to eat your favorite food again? Mine personally, pepperoni pizza with extra pepperoni and sausage or maybe your favorite vegan food do you never want to watch and discover new tv shows or movies in the theaters or on netflix do you never want to experience love and passion again do you never want to see the people you do actually care about and they love and care for you back do you never want to visit your favorite beach again and feel the sand on your feet? Do you never want to swim in your favorite ocean or lake again? Look, there may be all the reasons to leave this world, but you're still here. You still have a purpose. You still have a purpose. You have purpose. And here's the last thing I want you to think about. Had I successfully killed myself when I was in high school, over almost eight years ago, I would not be here trying to stop you from making the biggest mistake of your life. And if all my purpose is, is just to stop you, don't you think you have a purpose too? Please stay. Please stay.